And this is a bucket of thick sugar syrup spiked with uh, lemongrass oil because it's the only uh, essential oil that I had around. I usually use uh, anise. Um, anyway, it's 9.30 in the morning. It's going to be sunny and warm today. And uh, the bees, just a few bees have, have discovered the syrup right now. But I'll come back later today and see if the, uh, the word has got around. And uh, maybe there'll be a lot more bees later on in the afternoon. All right, it's 10.23. So it's just about an hour later. Um, and the bees have... The word has got around that there's a fabulous source of what they think is nectar sitting in a bucket right in front of the house. And this is exactly what I want to see. So this bee is going to drown, so I'm going to save it. Come on, buddy. There you go. I'll put a little... Well, yeah, that'll be fine. I might put a little bit more. Maybe I'll put a little bit more uh, floaty bits over there so they don't drown over there. But anyway, this is it. This is how you feed bees outdoors. When there are no other bees in the area, like I'm not feeding somebody else's bees, and when all honey harvesting and the honey season is over, because if this was done during when the bees were collecting nectar for honey that was going to be harvested, then you'd end up with uh, honey supers full of syrup instead of nectar and it would be garbage. So uh, you don't do it at that time. And anyway, looking good and this is how I saved my colonies or my one colony anyway that I had in my house in June when we had this freezing cold uh, winter weather and all the flowers weren't blooming or doing their thing um, I had a bucket out and on the warm days the bees were able to come out and load up on what they thought was nectar and it gave a huge boost to the bees in June when, and when I would never usually feed them in June but uh, it was freezing cold June and I had to keep them alive and it worked and this is what I do just put a big bucket full of uh, syrup and something something they can something floaty or grass whatever something that they don't so they can't drown won't drown in it and uh, they're good to go these bees are gonna be happy bees for the next few days until they empty this bucket and then off they let up again but it only works on uh, sunny days and when it's warm enough for the bees to actually get out and it's getting late in the season now, and we've had some very cold days. Uh, this is the warmest day we've had for the past week. It's and the sunniest day we've had for the past week. It's I think it's about 13 degrees right now, probably less. So the bees are pretty quick to find any kind of spilled syrup in my little uh, syrup mixing area. Um, they're all over the top cover. I got a little bit spilt over there. They're all over that. They're hanging around that bottle of lemongrass oil. Got a little container. They're all over everything. They're even in this bucket that I'm just filling up right now. And, uh, and I've deliberately got this set up so they can go nuts on that. And they're doing a good job. They're going to suck that stuff down, which is what I want them to do. Uh, so lemongrass oil is often used as uh, an attractant for swarms or for swarm boxes or bait boxes or I don't know what they call them, but swarm boxes, uh, boxes that you want swarms to land in. And uh, people will often spray, they'll fill up a box with um, some old comb, maybe some old drone comb especially, and they'll spray it with a bit of lemongrass oil. Uh, essential oils there, just like this little bottle, I don't know if you can see it, um, and it attracts the swarms, and uh, I don't know why it's, I, I looked it up once, and it, it's, it, the lemongrass mimics some, some pheromone that obviously says, hey, this is a great place to set up shop, and uh, anyhow, this is a bottle of lemongrass oil that I just had out while I was adding it to some syrup, and uh, the bees love the lemongrass oil too. They just love the smell of it. You can see they're very attracted to it, and they'll be all over this all day long if I leave it out. And, uh, yeah, 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 cool. All right, it's about 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and the bees are still going crazy with the sugar syrup in the bucket. And uh, I'll be curious to compare this to the previous shots and to see how far the, uh, the syrup has gone down in, in one day. But they're, they're doing a good job on it. Yeah. 
All right, it's about quarter to six. And this is what it looks like now. It's more than halfway empty. Impressive.